Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Chemical Engineer. I am Sahil Yadav and we are covering our course on Chemical Reaction Engineering. So we are doing our first chapter that is Basics of Kinetics. So this is actually the base for Chemical Reaction Engineering. We will be starting with our topic number 3 of chapter number 1 that is Types of Reactors. So before starting the video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as please do join our, our Telegram channel as well. Okay, so let's start the video. So in this video, I will be covering four topics. That is, I will be covering about definition of reactors and what are ideal reactors. Then we will see the types of ideal reactors that is batch and continuous with its definition and its application. Okay, so these all things we will cover in this 10 to 15 minute video. So reactor. Okay, so what our aim is to design a reactor in CRE chemical reaction engineering. We aim to design a reactor. So what is reactor? So reactor is nothing but a place or equipment where chemical reaction happens. Chemical reaction occurs. So it is nothing but a place where chemical reaction occurs. Okay. So that thing is known as reactor. Okay, and what are ideal reactors? So reactors which can be defined by using or which can be designed by using rate equation. Okay, rate equation are known as ideal reactors. So those reactors which can be defined or which can be designed using rate equation, they are known as ideal reactors. In general, we have two types of ideal reactors. First is a batch reactor and second is a continuous reactor. So in this slide, we will see about batch reactor. So as the name suggests, batch. Batch means you have something confined in one space what you do that is called as a batch like suppose i have a batch of chocolate we can say so that includes a box of a chocolate is we can call it as a batch okay so those reactors which are having inlet from some point of a raw feed which is then closed like once we feed the reactor we close the inlet okay so once we feed it using these two points we will close these two points and then whatever thing is inside the reactor we call it as a batch we close it and we give it a time for reaction okay and then we have a place to take out the final product these two are the places so we open these two places to take out the product so what we can say this is called batch reactor we have one inlet one outlet and a reaction in a reactor which is a batch reactor batch reactor may have this agitator as well as it may have a simple vessel okay so these two things may be there so this type of reactor are batch reactor so to define batch reactor a reactor that is charged with raw feed closed and allowed to react without any hindrance to a final product this type of reactor are known as batch reactors this is not for our case okay so the application of batch reactor is they are used in pharma industries they are used in high value products so in batch reactor you should have clear idea that 
we will be using batch reactor only to the places where we need high quality products okay so high quality product high value product means high costly products then we can use batch reactor for research purpose or for small scale production because batch reactor takes much time for reaction okay so this is all about batch reactor second type of reactor that we have is continuous reactor so as the name suggest continuous means there is no hold up like in batch reactor we have to fill the tank then hold it for reaction and then we take it out but in this continuous type of reactors we don't hold the product what we do we have a continuous flow of a raw feed and by product or product so there are two type of batch react uh, continuous reactors and for our study in chemical reaction engineering we will be assuming that this continuous reactor is operating at steady state steady state means parameters does not change with time so parameters does not change with time so those type of reactors are steady state reactors there are two types of or we can say three types of reactors so first is CSTR or we can say it as MFR second is PFR and third is PBR so you may be asking what is the full form of CSTR what is the full form of MFR so i would recommend you to please write it down cstr is having a full form of continuous continuous stirred continuous stirred tank reactor okay so full form of this CSTR is continuous stirred tank reactor which is also known as mixed flow reactor okay so there are two names for CSTR it is also known as mixed flow reactor so what happens in this type of reactor this is a schematic we have one inlet going to the reactor this is a reactor and it is having a continuous outlet so here what will happen the product will go to the bottom it will react in this meantime and then comes out so this is a continuous operation there is no valve or something like that so this is continuous operation and in CSTR we generally have agitator okay so this agitator is generally a representation of CSTR and this is how we represent CSTR that is having a vessel with agitator okay so this is all about MFR second we have PFR which is known as plug flow reactor these are the pipe type reactors okay so tubular reactors or PFR that is plug flow reactor those are the reactors which are generally used for gas phase reaction and they do generally have a axial mixing axial mixing will be there in tubular type of reactor and then third we have a packed bed reactor so packed bed reactor is nothing but a reactor which is having a packing of a something so this is how we define it packed bed reactor they are generally used for liquid to gas phase reaction for both the type of reaction generally all the catalysts or catalytic reaction take place in packed bed reactor if the form of catalyst and uh, raw feed is different okay phase is different so we call it as heterogeneous catalytic reactor okay so that is packed bed reactor please write it down this is PBR means packed bed reactor PFR means plug flow reactor continuous tank reactor three types of reactor we have seen in continuous reactor okay
now there are different other reactors also so this is a semi continuous or semi batch type reactor so what will happen here is we have certain height which will be continuous reaction and we have other certain height which will do batch type reaction or we will have some other type of that we will see so this is a other type of reactor semi continuous type of reactor and this is fbcc that is fluidized bed catalytic reactor which we use in uh, petroleum refining so this both are the other type of reactors so this is enough for you to remember about the batch reactor and continuous reactor so please remember this in next video we will see about how to design those reactors what are the governing equations of these reactors so up till now we have covered chapter 1 of levens bill and we have started chapter number 2 we have chapter number 1 completed of fogler book please go through them and if you have any doubt please ask in comment next video will be based on the rate equation all right so thank you for watching see you soon